Welcome to the 15th session of Navigatorship. Enjoy this session. Thank you very much. Keywords related to challenger challenge, health, self-reliance, self-esteem, courage, performance, renovation, and creation. Please read the slide slowly. I wasn't ready! I have no arms and no legs, but I'm very thankful that I have my little chicken drumstick here. <laughs> People freak out when they see me for the first time. It's so cool, I was at a water slide um, all by myself. Everyone obviously at the bottom of the slide is looking up and waiting for other people to come down. And here I come and they're freaking out. They're like, you know, like this. And I was so tempted to look at myself and go, what happened? You know? And there were times where I sort of looked at my life and thinking, well, I can't do this and I can't do that. And you keep on concentrating on the things that you wish you had or the things that you wish you didn't have and you sort of forget what you do have. And there's no point, I believe, in my life where I wish I had arms, legs, I wish I had arms, legs, I wish I had arms, legs, because wishing won't help. But what I've seen in life are just a couple key principles. And the first thing that I've seen is to be thankful. It's hard to be thankful, man. I tell you, when I was eight years old, I, I sort of summed up my life and thought, I'm never going to get married. I'm, you know, I'm not going to have a job. I'm not going to have a life of purpose. What kind of a husband am, am I going to be? If I can't even hold my wife's hand. It's a lie to think that you're not good enough. It's a lie to think that you're not worth anything. Oh boy. Woo! It's freezing. I can't feel my hands. <laughs> I love life. You know, so many people come and say, how come you smile so much? And I'm like, well, it's, it's, it's a long story. <laughs> but it's very simple at the same time. You see, it's very hard to smile sometimes in life. There are things that happen that you don't know and you don't understand and you don't know if you're going to get through it. You know, you go through your storms in life and you don't know how long this storm is going to be. And today I want to share with you some principles that I've learned in my life that you can use in yours. Being patient is beautiful. I, I tell you, it's the hardest thing. But I realize I may not have hands to hold my wife's hand. But when the time comes, I'll be able to hold her heart. I don't need hands to hold her heart. You know, it is scary to know how many girls have eating disorders. It is scary to know how many people are just angry at life because of their situation at home. And angry at others. It's scary to know how many people actually feel like they're worth nothing. Every single girl right here, right now, I want you to know that you are beautiful. You are gorgeous just the way you are. And you boys, you're the man.
On this DVD, I share my experiences in life of how I've overcome challenges and seen a new, fresh perspective in life. To be thankful, to dream big, and to never give up. I speak to children, youth, and adults about key issues and principles that I've applied in my life that has given me the strength to conquer all that comes before me. Arnold Toynbee, a history scholar, expressed human history as a challenge and a response. People who challenge changed history and let the society grow. Only when creative minority has to succeed in taking up a challenge against challenging problems shown up continuously in the flow of history, the history can be advanced continuously. Dr. Joseph Schumpeter appraised challenge and renovation of businessmen as driving forces for development of capitalism. Life is a series of challenges. Success or failure of the life is dependent upon how to respond and overcome the challenges. Challenge always accompanies pioneering. It is impossible to go ahead to the unknown world without spirit of pioneering on top of spirit of challenging. To have the spirit of pioneering, you need to accept change. The possibility of failure will get higher if you refuse to change. The precondition to all of these is the challenge. Without challenge, you cannot achieve anything. When we face a difficult problem for the first time, we feel scared and normally try to escape it. Unless you challenge it, you cannot go ahead further. It is important to try first. However, you need to maintain attitude to prepare thoroughly because you cannot succeed with reckless challenge without any plan. Even in baseball, the best home run hitter encounters more strikeouts than the number of home runs. Babe Ruth, a legendary baseball player, encountered 1,300 strikeouts while he hit 714 home runs. Challenge is not always successful, but exactly the challenge itself is beautiful. The case of Young Choi who passed the judicial examination as a person who is visually impaired for the first time in Korea is impressive. How did the blind person pass the judicial examination which is so difficult for even normal people to pass? In his elementary school days, he just thought his sight is not so good. However, his sight had been getting worse and eventually stumbled on obstacles frequently without seeing them. He went to hospital after the college scholastic ability test. Result of the diagnosis was pigmentary degeneration of the retina, which eventually leads to blindness by narrowing sight gradually. Since he could barely see at least before the examination, he was able to enter the College of Law, Seoul National University, but this site had been worse, he failed in the judicial examination five times consecutively. However, he hung in there and studied hard and finally passed the examination in 2008. He overcame with ears what he could not do with eyes. The spirit of challenging without giving up rewrote a history. A soccer player Ji Sung Park who debuted into the British Premiership overcoming disadvantage by challenging without giving up. A pianist Hia Lee with just four fingers. Paul Potts who overcame disadvantage of appearance with non-stop efforts. It is said that children exercise falling down about 10,000 times and then start walking. The attitude to challenge without giving up to the end changes the world. Young Sook Park accomplished Mountain Grand Slam for the first time in the world. Mountain Grand Slam means accomplishing the highest mountains in seven continents in the world, 14 highest mountains over 8,000 meters high in the Himalaya and three summits on the earth. He made records of scaling Mount Everest without oxygen for the first time in Asia and scaling 14 mountains over 8,000 meters high in the Himalaya in the shortest period in the world. Even with a big injury of a facial dent during scaling Mount Everest in 1991, he did not give up his dream and conquered not only Mount Everest but also all the top of world without giving up in spite of continuous failure. He said he is not giving up even with 1% of possibility.